anything to anyone. Got it? You determine it. It's your choice. You have complete free choice. The outcome of the universe as one and equal is dependent on each one. You're either part of it or you're a part of it, which is separate. If you're separate, you've got a problem. Because you are less than and therefore you're unequal and therefore no matter what you do, your separation grows. Whatever you're experiencing or doing diminishes you. It doesn't bring together you which is everything. That is why you are everything and you can say everything is me but it's not in fact you. It is you in fact. Do you hear that? That means it is a fact that it is you, but it isn't you. And therefore it must be equalized, otherwise you can't synchronize, which is true synchronicity, with every part, which is how synchronicity actually works, and not the bullshit they teach about synchronicity. Make sense? The other synchronicity is deception, because it only happens when you see an 11-11. But I mean, 11-11 has always existed. Now somebody comes and makes you aware of 11.11. Now you see it more and you give it a spiritual value. What else is it but a mindfuck? I mean, it's really grossly strange that such big hype could be made of such simple points and the being that gets hyped by it can call themselves intelligent. It's the same thing as playing hide and seek or doing peek-a-boo. the the the, the peekaboo or doing a, one of these sugar lollies. Uh -huh. Your parent, when you want something from the parents, you can't communicate. They don't know what you're saying, so they need to get you into another direction. So they give you a sugar lolly to get your attention to it. You say, "Oh, this is nice. This is nicer than the other thing I was looking for." Now you change your direction. But I mean, they are actually diminishing your intelligence. Yeah, totally. It's a good and that's what parents do. And that sugar lolly is child abuse. In fact. Yeah. Makes sense. Do you grasp it? Yeah, like give up for pleasure. You are changing your direction for what you experience to be sweeter. Mm. But the Sweetness is presented to you deliberately to mislead you. The parent says, but I love you. That's why I want to make you happy. Here, suck this lolly, dearest child. And then you end up sucking many lollies. Because mom and dad is so fucking busy making money, paying the bills and all of that stuff. They haven't got time for your concerns. They need to make sure you are dumbed down enough so you don't ask too many questions because then you can start to worry about what the fuck they're doing in their reality, which seems to be rather apesonic because they act like apes trying to survive in a bizarre system and they do not look at this new life form and its potential, they want to make sure this thing just fits in yep. to the little box where there's going to be no trouble. So dear, lolly dear, yes, I know you want it. Have it. It's so nice and sweet, my dear. I love you so much. And that's what they do. And then they will try and paint that love in as they grow older. I gave up my life for you. But you heard that before. I worked all my life so that you can have a life. Mm -hmm. And now you don't want to study. Look at your marks. Why are you wasting the money? What are you going to do with your life if you can't find a job? sad. Here's a lolly. I love you. But now they don't give you the lolly anymore. They just tell you. Always remember my child. I really love you so much. 
I do it for you because I love you so much. They all say the same fucking lie over and over and over again until they believe it. And then the day they die in their utmost fear, they'll call you closer and they will say, Remember, I will love you forever. And then they die and it's all over. And the first fly arrive and take a dump. And the worms arrive. And what remains of the being, which is the physical, goes back to the physical, quite ashamed of a real fucked up life. And nothing else really remains. We can call back the knowledge that the potential is a little egg. And then we could say, okay, what was first? The chicken or the egg? And you'll notice, okay, there is the fucking egg. But what is it really? Chicken. It's really the chicken. Too chicken to live. Too chicken to be anything. Too chicken. Mm -hmm. It just clicks. 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 And there's the cock and the hen and the cock screws all the fucking time. Because it believes in having its cock screwing, it's going to be able to find some reason and meaning in this fuck up. What is there? If I don't eat today, I mean, there's a problem. If I don't take a fucking dump today, I might pass one, but by the second or the third day, it becomes a fucking problem. I better take a dump. I better piss when I have to, otherwise there's a problem. So there's certain rules, that's unalienable rules, you can't change them. You can't change breathing. That's reality. You can't change the things you can't change in this reality that won't go away. They are reality. And that's the things we must make that it is Equal for all, best for all. And then life will be much better. Because the whole competition thing changed. But there is so much dishonesty. Because in the holy place up here in the head, the head means he add, isn't it? There where you add something. He add. What shall I add? He add. And then you add something more, and you add something more, and so you add, 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 and suddenly you say, I, my name is the river. I am the accumulation of everything that I've added, isn't it? That's who you are. Yeah. He add. And then you say, I use my he add, and my he add is very clever. And I have intelligence because I can tell you what's in here in my he add. And then I tell you what's in my head, and the more I can tell you things in, that looks very pretty and that seems to make sense, the more they'll say, I'm clever because I'm using the lever every time. Okay, and I revel in it because I'm clever. And then I use my intelligence that is in my head to show. And if I fail, what do I do? I go and he add more and add more and add more. Till I am more clever, I'm more intelligent, and then I go again. And so, what am I? I am a he had on a body, a head on a body. And all of that functions with energy. If I don't eat to make sure that my he had is functioning, the thing is going to stop. And then I, which is the accumulative result of what I've added, will suddenly cease to be able to hang on to what I've added, and my ownership of what I've added will end, and that will be the end of me.